Well, 2013 saw big gains in the financial markets. The economy plugged along at a positive, not necessarily robust pace, but not bad either. So what's next? Bob Williams, Senior Vice President with Delta Trust Investments, is a regular on this program. He's here to offer his insight. And as always, we appreciate you and welcome to the program. Thanks, Robbie. Good to be here. So let's begin with just kind of what you see happening, happening generally in the economy. Do you feel good about 2013 and do you feel good about 2014? I do feel, I mean, obviously 2013 was, uh, for the markets, was a phenomenal year. For a I guy mean. who does investments, 2013 was not a bad place to be. No, not at all. And really, I'm pretty bullish for 2014. I think the markets are going to continue upward. We're obviously not going to see the level of level of increases that we saw last year. But all in all, I'm absolutely looking for earnings to increase and the markets to head higher. Just looking historically back, could you have predicted that 2013, did you see signs early on that we would see the, the Dow break 16,000 and just some of the other marks that got hit. As much as I'd like to claim credit <laughs> and tell you, yeah, I could have called this one, Roby. No, I missed this clearly. I mean, I don't think anybody hardly out there was projecting 30% approximate returns for last year from the S&P 500. Simply phenomenal results. Mm. What, do you, what do you think caused that optimism, that confidence, that, that surge that we saw throughout the the year but was it strictly just the financial information or was there something else at work because there was a lot of trepidation in the economy a lot of people worried about the health care law and its impact on business consumer confidence kind of all over the place you know never too high never too low what what do you think pushed it where it went? Well, really, I mean, it's obviously the markets are driven by supply and demand. And the one thing we saw in the last year was if you were looking to get some kind of return on your your money, you know, anywhere in the 3% plus range, there really was no other option but the market. Mm -hmm. And so I think we saw a lot of money chasing into that market, trying to buy the dividends and uh, get those yields because, you know, it, clearly there are a lot of good quality companies paying 3% plus dividend yields and uh, potentially some upside as we saw last year in the markets. And you sense that that interest in finding that type of return on investment is still out there and do you think the markets can support that? I do. I think we're going to see earnings grow this year again. Um, I don't think we're going to see anywhere near the results we saw last year. Probably about a 7% earnings growth in the S&P 500 for this year and maybe 6% next year, but certainly a positive number and uh, overall encouraging. So you're not having to hold hands with nervous investors at this point in time? Oh, I wish I could say that. I mean, <laughs> folks do get nervous. I mean, the markets look toppy. I mean, almost every pundit out there is, is, is forecasting a rise in interest rates, which interestingly enough, I'm I don't think we're going to see any time immediately soon. Do you see some particular sectors of the economy maybe doing a little bit better than others? I mean, for instance, here in Arkansas, we've seen a lot of banking activity that is going to obviously play out in some of the publicly traded firms. Um, but tech sector, manufacturing, consumer goods, there are, there's, there are some areas where you see this looks like it's got more opportunity than others. I do think we're going to see it in the consumer, particularly in the consumer sector, um, but there's so many things right now we're going to have to be watching for. This is going to be a cautious year going forward. There are going to be a lot of potential negative triggers out there and also some good ones on the upside, and it's, you know, we're going to have to tread carefully this year. Let's run through a couple things to additionally watch for. Let's start with housing starts. What do you see happening in terms of how the housing market, the housing economy, may factor into investments in the market. And we are looking for housing starts to continue to increase and that's going to be very bullish for the economy. Obviously we're going to have to keep a close eye on mortgage rates because mm -hmm. that's going to be the that's going to be the big wild card in overall housing, you know, how the housing market performs. Things are good right now. I know we saw a little bit of an uptick in mortgage rates that seem to deter a little bit of home buying towards the end of the year. Do you think people still try to capitalize on mortgage rates still being at you know, still very low, but at the same time, maybe they've already made their move? You know, I think there are a lot of people that's still very much clamoring to take advantage of this low interest rate environment. There are still plenty of people that don't own their own home that are looking for an opportunity to get into it. And at least we've knocked the speculative bubble out of the housing prices. Two thirds to three fourths of the economy centers around consumer spending. Obviously retail sales, something that you're gonna look at very, very closely and monitor very closely. Uh, we can look at Walmart's numbers and get a very interesting indicator of what's happening in terms of consumer spending, but you got folks on the high end too. You may want to look at a Macy's or a Dillard's and, as well. So 
what are you looking for in terms of how retail sales may be giving you some indicators of what's happening with consumer spending? Well, we're going to be looking, obviously, for positive comps, positive comparisons, increasing same-store sales are going to be, obviously, very indicative that the market, the economy is strengthening and that the stocks are going to go higher. Bloomberg economist up at the uh, business forecast uh, conference up in northwest Arkansas this past week said, watch how women spend their money. But purses and dresses and all those kind of high end goods. Do you subscribe to that theory of? I've been watching how women spend their money most of my life. And that's Your probably money or other people's money. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I mean, is that a good economic indicator to you? Is that just a little bit of a kind of a? That's a, a little a narrow. There? It's a little narrow. I mean, I'm looking so much, you know, it's so much broader indicators, overall business consumer confidence, uh, consumer, con consumer confidence, all those types of things are going to be indicative of where the economy is going and we're just going to have to watch these numbers and uh, try and take advantage of the opportunities that are given to us. You indicated that there are negatives to watch for out there. What are some things that you would say could be a negative? Well, I think probably the biggest unknown would be that they could hit the market would be a spike in interest or spike in energy prices. And so that's the one I'm a little bit concerned about. That could really derail the economy quickly. What about on the jobs front there with you? When you look at jobs right now, we've seen nationally, we've seen the unemployment rate falling. In Arkansas, we've actually crisscrossed with the national unemployment rate. We're a little bit higher than the national interest rate. And one of the things that I see when I look at those employment numbers, and it's been brought out by several people, is, is you've got a decline in the labor force. Baby boomers hitting that retirement age and whatnot. But how does news get better on the labor front, do you think? Well, there was, a, there was a lot more detail in those numbers. And when you really dig through it, the, the job numbers were not nearly as negative as I think a lot of people tended to interpret them. Um, we're just not looking for that to be an issue long term. Not for you. All right. Um, you fear any increase in the interest rates from the feds at any point in time? Not in the immediate future. Right now, until we see some signs of inflation and some signs the economy's heating up right now, no, I'm not looking for interest rates to move up in the next six months any, by any market. Care to make number. any other predictions on what you might see happening? Uh, prediction for the S&P, prediction for the Dow. I know you guys like to not predict too much. You get in trouble. Well, I am, I am bullish. I think, you know, by the end of the year, we could look at an 1850 to 1900 on the S&P 500, which would, uh, again, be a, be a very reasonable year for us. So All we're right. encouraged. A good year of 2014. Bob Williams has it in the book already, right? I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. He's Bob Williams with Delta Trust Investments. Investments, we very much appreciate you. We're back to wrap up after this final word from our sponsors. I'm Roby Brock, and this is Talk Business.